is your roving reporter, Carl Reiner, here at LaGuardia Airport, awaiting the arrival of a plane load of eminent visitors, among them the distinguished Viennese authority on mountain climbing and one of the greatest guides in the world. His new book on mountain climbing has just been published. It's entitled, What Do You Need It For? And here he is, Professor Kurt von Freidekatz. <laughs> A little, 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 a little, little, a little, little. <laughs> Professor, you seem in very, in very good spirits. Oh, uh, yes. I've just conquered Mount Richtfen for Augenblitz and Rachterklauen. <laughs> yeah, I conquered it. <laughs> I conquered it and my partner is still dangling over there. <laughs> he climbed up the roller skate. I told him not to do it, but he he'd insisted. I see. He was a sweet fella. He was on the other end, and all of a sudden, nothing, you know. But you can't let your spirits get down. <laughs> I see. Well, Professor, I, I imagine you, you uh, wear that rope about you in memory and respect to him. No, it keeps my pants up. That's all. <laughs> well, Professor, would you tell us who you consider to be the greatest mountain climber of all time? Jim Richardson. Jim Richardson. This kid could scramble over a mountain. Boy. <laughs> Why, he was... He, uh, you, you know the mountain, you know the mountain, uh, uh, Dingle Dangle? Mount Dingle Dangle. Mount Dingle Dangle? Yes. You, you know that mountain? Yes. He, he, he broke the record on that mountain. Really, Professor? He, he, this fella could climb a mountain. He would scamper. He went up that mountain in three days, 14 hours and seven minutes. Is that a record, Professor? No, he broke the record on the way down. Ten seconds flat. <laughs> he was flat. He broke the racket, he broke his head, he broke everything. <laughs> but he broke the racket. Well, that's important. Professor, what is the most dangerous mountain in the whole world? Mount Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, it's in the Slippery Valley. I see. This, we, and we were going we, we, I went, I went with, 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 with a party of men. To, we were, uh, we were going we to conquer the, 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 the mountain. Really? It was a big foreboding edifice. It was all, it's, you know, sheer cliffs. And, uh, we, you know, we studied the mountain and that night. Uh, we went to sleep. We, we all went to sleep and then we heard the mountain. And the mountain was, was calling and was saying, Come conquer me. I dare you. Come conquer me. I slippery mountain. Come conquer me. Well, this went on night after night after night after night. On one night, I just made a decision. I threw off the covers. I ran out of the house, and I walked up to the foot of the mountain. And I said, shut up already. I got a little sleep here. What's the matter with you? And it's on blabbering and blabbering and blabbering. And, uh, no, we're nobody going to conquer you. But put a sign, no conquering allowed. It's amazing. <laughs> professor, on top of... Why do you ask me questions like that? Well, Professor, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never asked me. <laughs> Annoying. You know what happened to him? Yes, yes, Professor. <laughs> won't happen again. All right. Uh, professor, what can one do in an emergency, say on top of a mountain crag, when your rope starts to break? What can you do to save it? But didn't you read my chapter, my chapter uh, about emergency? I didn't get to that Did part. you read that? I didn't. Oh, sure. When, you, when you're on the side of a mountain, you're way up high, when you see your rope is broke, yes. you have two seconds to act. First thing you do is you start to scream. And you keep screaming all the way down. <laughs> Nowhere to find you. <laughs> isn't there? Isn't there something else? Anything else you can? Yes, do? there's another thing. You could. Uh, there's another alternative. When you see your rope break, you have only two seconds again. You immediately extend your arms like this and you fly as hard as you can. <laughs> Keep flying, fly, fly like crazy. But professor, humans can't fly. How do you know? You may be the first one, buddy. That's all. <laughs> fly, fly like crazy. You could always go back to screaming. <laughs> Raymond is always working for you. Professor, I hate to bring the subject up again, but uh, your friend, your friend Hans Goodfellow, was, was he a screamer or a flyer? He was a flying screamer. <laughs> and a big crash. He bounced a lot. Professor, a bouncer too. Yes, a, a crash and a bouncer. Professor, did you ever fall from any great height? <laughs> You're looking at a kid that took a flop. You did you actually fall from a mountain? You know that mountain, uh, uh, Pike, uh, Poop, uh, uh, Poop, uh, Pike, Pike, uh, uh, Pike, Pike's Pike, Peak. Pike, Poop, Pike, whatever it is. <laughs> I see the shoe. I'm on your side here. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, 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 I took a flop from there, 7,642 feet. Oh, did you hurt yourself badly? <laughs> you see that? 
That's all that's left of me. All the rest is new. All the things. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I gotta go now. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>